Hi, this is Captain Steven, and I'm going to be doing a video on a moral of a story, and this one happens to be true. And what the story is about, and I want to just get everybody to know about what happened to us, my wife and I, and we got scammed. And what that means, in other words, when we got scammed, our bank accounts were cleaned out. And and how we got scammed, I want to hold something up so you can see, but from what I understand from the FBI, it's rampant. A lot of people are being ripped off, and, and there are those... People that are posing as like Amazon, the U.S. Post Office, uh, Walmart, whatever it is. And I'm going to show you an example here, but this is the example of how we got caught. And we do Amazon Prime Video, and what it says, your, your code has been redeemed, but your account, and you need to use a phone number. You can't see the phone number, but if you call that, then it's over. And the reason why I say that when, the, when, you, when you dial that phone number, thinking that you're, you're going to deal with the Amazon Prime or it could be Walmart, it could be uh, the U.S. Post Office, it could be FedEx, it could be a lot of, they're posing a lot of different companies. And the mails that you get in, either it's going to be email or it's going to be a text message that there's some credit, there was an overcharge, you're due some credit, whatever the reasons are, don't answer it. Do not answer any of it, Not whether it's an email or a text message, because once you do, even open it up in a text message or an email, they begin the process to get to your phone. And when you call this number that I have right here, there, there's a phone number, and it's a two one. It was a phone number. We called it, and we thought we're dealing with Amazon the whole time. And when they when they get your phone number, they can literally get into your phone. They have software. They can get into your phone, get access to most everything, even files that have been deleted. And uh, so you have to be extremely careful. So do not. I'm just repeating it. Do not answer any of these text messages that you get or any kind of emails that you get saying there's some credit due or you've been overcharged or whatever the reasons are don't answer it and if you want to find out more then call the company directly call the customer service directly and do not respond because what the, as i said they're posing as these different companies and they're good at it and this amazon prime when we called up you know they had people in the background that sounded like amazon now you're talking to Amazon, and that's not the case at all. It's all the stage setup, and they're good at what they do. But they keep you on until you, they get access to your phone to get all the stuff that they need, your passwords, whatever it is. They can even get access to your account, uh, your bank account. I mean, it's stunning what they can do uh, on what you know, according to your phone and the phone numbers. The other thing I'm going to tell you too, a little bit. What's really interesting is that they get to know your buying habits before they even send you a text message or an email. They know what kind of stores you go to. They know they may even know some of the credit cards you use. So when you talk to them, they seem kind of knowledgeable about you, and that gives them it gives you the confidence that you're dealing with whoever the company that you think you're dealing with. And in my case, it was Amazon, and they were posing as Amazon. Uh, but anyway, you know, over a period of time, we got ripped off, and and I'm going to tell you that um, they cleaned the accounts out, guys, the savings, and and, and it just wiped it all out. The good news is that you know we ha I had some evidence, and that's the kind of thing that you need to do too. Like this was kind of evidence to verify that what I was dealing with was fraud. So I went to the bank and and told them about what happened, and went to their fraud division. And most banks, and just about every bank has a fraud division which you go to in case if you have been uh, a victim of it. Uh, you, there's, there, they have a fraud department, and that's who you deal with. The second thing you need to know to do is that when you, when in your credit cards, you need to call them up. Each one of them, they have a number, and they also have a fraud department. And tell them you want to do a fraud alert. And the fraud alert, what happens then if you do a fraud alert on your credit cards, it goes to the credit agencies uh, like uh, TransUnion or Equifax or Experian. And you can even call Experian up and say you want to do a fraud alert. And what that does is somebody tries to apply for you know, credit against you, there's a fraud alert there. The most important thing that I found out too, you can freeze your social security number. A lot of people, uh, you know, I didn't know it until recently until, I got, until this happened. But there's a way to do this, and you go to Social Security, you can do a, a search on, on the Internet how to do a freeze or how to put a hold on your Social Security number. And it'll take you to, and it'll take you to a site called e, uh, E-Verify. 
and it's pretty long. You got through a lot of questions. You're going to go, and and they're going to be really, uh, really thorough as far as what happened, kind of a fraud, or what you're afraid of, or who you've been possibly, you know, being a victim of, or whatever. Uh, and then you're going to be given a password. You're going to have to do a password, but you want to make it really foolproof. You want to make a password that they can't even think about. They can't even access it. So I'm just telling you, you have to, there are ways to do this. And why am I telling you this? Because from what I said, the FBI, it's rampant out there. A lot of people are getting it. And, uh, you know, it's important to know, guys. And I'm sorry to bring this up, and I, you know, it, it, there, there are people that are pretty bad people. They don't care about you. They care about your money and, and your hard-earned money. They're taking your hard-earned money from you. And so I'm just making everybody aware. Just be aware if you get any text messages, any emails, uh, don't don't respond to them. And if you have any kind of a question at all, you call the company directly and you talk to customer service to verify. They're even so good sometimes when you look at the uh, uh, you know the email and text message. They have an account number or they have a reference number or a like in FedEx they have you know the the, the billing you know whatever it is. There's a number, the shipping you know, number, identity number, whatever. They're that good. But if you call FedEx, you call any of them, it doesn't exist. So you just have to be really be alert to everybody and, and just be really careful out there. And again, I'm sorry to bring this up, but the world is real and it's real. And I said the FBI, that you know, that it's rampant. A lot of people, and I'm a senior, so we kind of go on the basis of, you know, of trust, and, and I'm from the old school, but I'm learning a lesson. You can't do that anymore. And it's unfortunate. I mean, there are, there are cases where you can deal with people, and honestly, and, and truthful, but there are things out there that, you know, and I don't know if it's because of COVID, it's always been around, so, but it's more rampant right now. So I'm just giving you a warning. Uh, just be careful out there. And if you, as I said, if you get any text messages, emails, don't answer them. Do not. And because once you do and you call that number, they've got you. Even if you reply to an email, you open it up, they got you. So, again, I'm just telling you to be very careful out there. And my wife and I have learned. The one good news, though, I'm going to tell you, though, even though our bank account was cleaned out, we're getting our money back. And because I've been with the bank a long time, they, our credibility is really good with the bank. Uh, but most banks will, re, you know, refund your money. But it takes about 14, even 14 days, even to a month. So you get your money back. So if, if they take your money, you could be out of money for some period of time. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and sign off at this point. But again, I just be careful out there. And always, as I always do, I hope your day is going well. Do not become a victim. Uh, do not get scammed. And uh, again, I really appreciate your time. And thanks again for your time. Appreciate it.